artist on the planet. This one straight to a boy there. You better praise it, no can it. Left by a shield and a friend. I am P45 if you can it. Fire red and dead. You got it. They don't like it. <laughs> Come on, no, no. That's why you never fight it. When they see a shining bright Oh, what a shame yeah. And they don't know our struggles And how we toiled all night And they never felt our pain yeah. All they see is the glitter And sometimes in the glitter There's no gold yeah. All they see is the bimmers and the rings, the magli man. But not that half, there has never been so. They don't like it. Oh no, no way. That's why they never fight it. Come again, I like nothing. I don't like nothing. Yo, no pay attention and do the thing good. What up? What up? That's why you never fight. Hey, 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 hey. I'm your host El, and this is Farvid Station. I'd like to take this time to introduce you to someone who's been in the business for many years, made many songs, sung with many different people, lady and gentlemen. And you drew slowly. Man, it was uh, the singer, man. <laughs> yeah. <Andrew Sloan>. AKA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please, could you tell the Lafayette family a little bit about how you became Andrew Slowly we know today? Why well, I think Andrew Slowly was always Andrew Slowly. <laughs> as a little youth, my always have that desire in myself mm. um, to sing. I grew up seeing my mother I sing, my grandmother I sing and yeah man, it, it, it within my family. But for me, when my little boy apart from my elder brother Glenn slowly, yeah. the rest of my brother them, the typical thing when you say where you are for me, police, fireman, yeah. ambulance, man, and all yeah. that thing. There. But at the time yeah. them said to me and Glenn, more than one but when I grew up we always say one oh, tongue singer. Yeah. Yeah, and I start my mother say and I nurture that. Yeah. Like uh, that's hard. Me use the thing about. Okay. Yeah. So was your grand and grandmother? Did she like sing in a church? Yeah, them sing at church and them okay. things. They are with father, uh, family gathering. Okay. And them things. Like I have to know. Say, in a them time, the the, the the unity of the family was more tight. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, than 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 how it is now. So. When we get together, for we you know a, a, a typical evening together when we can remember after you eat food and thing is like we entertain one another. Then. And it's not TV neither. No, either either musically yeah. or with games yeah. or things like that. But Jokes. We were more interactive yeah. with inner day family youth. Definitely. Not like what we see now. People have them youth, them youth in a one room. Mother in a one room, father in a one room, and yeah. nobody now actually connect together. <laughs> and when I think about it, especially with my grandmother, I always said to myself, so boy, my grandmother really was a DJ still, you know. Although we never see it at that time because there was no records when my grandmother never had. Okay. You understand me? Yeah. I'll be years later, I met you up with my brother and sister, and I said, yo, you know, granny was a DJ, I would never know, you know. Because she have every tune, she have a wardrobe just pile up. Really? With the little single them. Yeah. You understand me? And them used to keep showing me on like a Friday night, you know? Mm. And everybody come in. Like, it, 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 my family, was, I enter, them love the entertainment. Yeah. You understand me? So, having that love, for say, I sing, I want to sing, I carry that with me. You understand? So if I walk on road, I sing. 
Yeah. You know, it, it, it a strong passion. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> when we get in it uh, over the years and things, I say it's not just simple because you can see. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Because I'm a man who likes to talk the story and talk the real things still, you know? Mm. Yeah, man, you, 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 you can have the talent and everything, but I tell anybody where I pursue like in the music game, you have to be determined. You understand me? You, you have to believe in yourself um, when all people know you have to believe in you. You understand me? You have to be able to keep going when you make your material, when you make your product or your gear out there, and it seems as if nobody now really take note of you. Mm. You have to still believe that yeah. a day will come for you. Yeah. You understand me? And that's what makes the difference between people who go ahead and people who say flank out in other journey. Consistency as well. You understand me? Yeah. I say you have to, you know, you have to know that sometimes you have to get rejected, you have to get re rejection. Sometimes you have to give your things, although you feel say good. And sometimes it's good in truth, but sometimes you have to be careful because some people will make you feel like you're thinking about it. You understand now? Just you just still, yeah, yeah. You yeah. still have to believe in yourself. Yeah. So you know I want them to try for something not good, you know. Yeah. But my thing good. Yeah. I, you, you have a fight and, and thing and, and, and don't hold no grudge against nobody. It's true. So. <laughs> You're, we know you had a love for music from young because of your family, but mm -hmm. how? what was the stages that got you from there to here? Alright, the stages were getting me to there. First of all, as I said, through the love feed, we dedicate ourselves to develop the things still. Mm -hmm. And at the time, as, I, as a younger youth, Errol Dunkley was a friend, close friend. We used to even take Errol like family, like blood family. Okay. But Errol did. Did, did eat with my family. So, I kind of look up to a man like Dunkley and my elder brother Glenn Slowly yeah. as like two of them older than me. I kind of look up to them and think that what I used to do, I listen to every artist from Gregory Dennis, but Dennis, Dennis and Errol Dunkley really was my two, okay. two singers. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And I listen to every other singer because John all the whole of them, them all of them qualities. Mm. Uh, what we used to do is just listen to all of them and take some little part from them Each. what we like. Mm. I even hear them make a phrase and I say, yo, I can do it, I phrase it better than what you hear them <laughs> phrase it. You understand yeah. me? And just be, bring my my flavor to yeah. it. You understand me? And then in a school we did we did we did have a group, a group called um, super zone with the name of the group and them time that you know as you and thing I always said the next you would say you can't sing and they must say you can't sing one. You understand me? I'm saying mm. alright and me and some man them farm a group and thing and boy when we start singing up <laughs> them say no man they are deep bro <laughs> Yeah, because to all they look for me, they wouldn't think say I could have sing as they sing them. You yeah, understand? They must, yeah. they must feel like saying, yeah, just as they can sing. But when everybody actually hear me sing, mm. yeah, man, and from then, everybody just said, no, man, you're yeah, a singer. And if we go anywhere, they want to sing. If we go in and dance, they want to sing and them thing. Wow. And then, what did that mean? So Glenn did step out before me still, because Glenn did step out before me. So Glenn was in with the league like Brown Sugar and um, Tipper Rankin and them people then. Well, Tipper then no members in peace, you know? And Claudia Fontaine and then me she rest in peace. Mm. You yeah, understand what I said? So a lot of the artists them was out there at that time. And you had a... Uh, you had an outfit called K and K Records, mm -hmm. but them was in conjunction with Winston, Winston Edwards and uh, um, Joe Gibbs mm -hmm. record label. So K and K was like a little baby thing with them. So I start, I did do some recording with them. Okay. And um, not never really one out of the recording there. Yeah. And then I did. I look a little while, I never really did that though. No music again. Yeah. 
And one of my cousins linked me and said, boy, the mama saw the sound at the time, the car, um, Aisha man. But no, the sound no, no, was super click. Okay. Yeah. So I'm calling me and I'm saying, yo, Andrew, I have to tell the man them about it. He said, boy, I have one cousin where he has seen wicked and you know, I feel that way because every time I go down the stairs, I say, boy, so where are you going? You tell me, I'm going to go down the stairs, I'm going to go down the stairs. So I come and I'm big, man, I'm saying, boy, Andrew, come, just come, even if you come one time, I just sing, I just feel, but they don't feel like they're not alive, I tell you, you know? So anyway, I'm going to go one Saturday, I sing, sing, but them sound and thing, and everybody jump up and go on and thing, and there was a brother there, his name Wayne Morris, but him, him, him go by the name the dog creator. Yeah. So, him the dead and him said, boy Andrew, a long time, I hear about you still, but not really know you, but yeah. know people will know him. You know, and them always, I said, Andrew, I'm a wicked little singer, you know, so. Me and him team up now. Mm. So we are talking about early 80s. And me and him team up and we make our own label called um, Smooth Records mm -hmm. and start put out show. Never easy, because I remember we were young youth them time then. I mm -hmm. about probably about 24 mm -hmm. by then. 23, 24. He's producing at 24? Yeah. Well, I'm a brethren mostly do the producing. Yeah. And then we write some co write okay. together okay. and then think them. Okay. Okay. You can't imagine in a them time that them all look power as you tell it. So yeah. two young youths yeah. are trying to come in at the game. They're not taking it serious. I wouldn't say they're not taking it serious, but it was hard because you, you, we not have no money. Yeah. If you understand what I say. So, you know, when we do a thing, we, we, we definitely, I love how we try to carry with you because if people have said, boy, you have to give money before you play a tune and all them things. No. Yeah. You yeah, understand? <laughs> because we're just about to press up label, we're just yeah. about to press up record and all them things there, you see me? Yeah. yeah. And I saw we got you, got you, got you. But then they come up a, a little part when my, my brethren kind of get this hard. You know, the thing, because he must say, boy, every time I try to go there, just barrier and barrier. And I think it was nine to five. In the kind of ease off, and then him show me back. I think in a nine to five, mm. and me cover the journal again. Okay. Yeah, well, the original are, are done in Washington, and it, but but journal make it famous in a regular. Okay. So we and show me. Yeah, the officer some years go past, you know, kind of get him get the sad with the thing and. Me, the kind of lull down for a while still, due to family, mm. family reasons still. Yeah. So, me, myself, the gone off of the radar mm. for a few years now. Yeah. Yeah. So, when I come back to 9 to 5, you know, I'm shocked, man. I'm saying, boy, I'm just, remember them years about me, I say, if you lick again, you know, because I feel you would have do it justice, you know. Mm. And I'm saying, I lick back the rhythm wicked, and I'm for show him the lick back the rhythm wicked. And, Called me and one son, then we just go vice it up and thing and boom, he go out the road and it a play, 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 man, cause it reach um, number 18 in a Chise FM. No, okay. number 8 in a Chise FM and okay. uh, number 18 in a the Black Ecos. Okay. You understand me? And that are just me and my bridging with really little, just a dream this thing, eh? you understand me? Okay. I know the thing and it's a play, 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 all of a sudden it just and you're not here, no. <laughs> you understand me? So true that my brethren, the kind of get a little disheartened still and he must say, boy, you know, if, 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 if people don't check for you and if them don't like you and if them don't really and all of them things then. But me as a man, we hear them things then. You know? But me is a terrible little brother still, you know. We feel like saying, but if you sit down, and me, if you put me, if you tell me, if you sit down. Yeah. I'm bad enough to put me, if you sit down. You understand the best? Yeah, so, I hear what I say, but now we are set to him, so no style, you have to know, say, if God bless you with a thing, you know, it can be a struggle still, but 
Yo, the greatest thing, simply what I say, you have to keep believing in your thing. Mm. You can't skillful and not believe in your thing. Because yeah. I know a whole heap of man who is skillful in the things that I look upon them and I say, Yo, you know, I say, you're good in a way, you know. But them not see it like oh, me I see it. Yeah. You understand what I say? So, if you know, if you not see your thing yourself, then, oh, you can't convince somebody else to see, to see your thing. No, hey. You understand what I say? So, with that drive and the drive of the Almighty, sing a man, Mr. Slowly, yeah. keep going. And yes, just like many other artists can say, they have had knocks and bumps and things in their journey. Yeah. May I say the same thing? You know what I mean? But may not make it mash me down for say, may I will put on my craft yeah. and don't do my thing. Yeah. You understand what I say? Yeah. You know, we have the politics where them say, boy, if you're based off your career within the UK, then it has. Yes, it's true, but at the same time, in a view, it said it's impossible no. for you to come true. It may take a lot. Yeah. You understand, but you can't come true. So, you know, we move and we are going to come down like more in the latter times now. You know, it's like me and Alison may have some team up now and say, boy, we are going to put something together and we call it Shining Stars. The object of that putting it together was like to bring artists together, you know. When we say artists from different range, so we are talking about dancers, poets, yeah. you understand me? Yeah. And just make like an entertainment um, package then. Yeah. You understand me? So if you if you if you, you can either look and book single artists or you can just book the whole entire thing yeah. and you have a show, mm. you understand me and you know that was for real day. you know like when I said earlier ran, most people would say and I think them will agree with me for some reason it seems to be harder in the UK to kind of get your, 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 your foot in there yeah. if somewhere else it take 10 years yeah so it take 25 yeah. put it that way then and it's so, funny you yeah, say that because so I would have reason. thought it would have been harder, more of a struggle to get anywhere in Jamaica. You no. know, like audition wise, did no, they be no, harder? No, at, at no, no. When me I try to say the, the kind of the kind of thing, like the vibe when me say yes, so one more that's a different from Jamaica and some place. If them know say you're good, mm. you will boss. Yeah. But you can't do yourself and good and it's like you're down men for years. Till one day somebody just say, you oh, know, actually, you know, I'm good, you know. It's not bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, but someone will take them a long time for for, for, for see that. Yeah. Uh, uh, and that is the difference when we see. So that's why this game at all, it depends why you're in there as well. Let it take. Uh, if, if, if it's not a love thing, yes, yeah, so, And it's just like glamour and glitz, uh, yeah, run down like the money part of the game or something like that. You will feel it. You understand me? Yeah, because some barriers where you were fierce, yeah. you were fear with. You understand me? So that's where shining stars come in now. Mm -hmm. Where we say we have a set up a, a, a platform where artists, you know, can can kinda shine on the more. So that's why we call it shining stars. Good man. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. understand yeah. what I say? Mm -hmm. And also for try to develop the standard of the music within the UK which is also very important yeah. you understand me? because as a singer myself when me looking and think I believe there not yeah definitely me believe because I know for myself there is great talent here mm. you understand me but sometimes if I'm be, if I'm to be honest sometimes I feel where let down the artist and sometimes is the actual production yeah. You understand me? It's not necessarily them as an artist. Yeah. You understand me? A lot of the cars sometimes, me not have a car, no, 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 no names right now, you know? But we just <laughs> keep it real. Yeah. But there's times when people will see me and say, Andrew, me hear a song with you. The singing wicked, but me, me, me not like the, 
men are like the, 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 the backing with them here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it not fit with you like yeah, yeah your vice too good feet. Yeah. Them wear them. You yeah. understand me? And the truth is if we fit improve within the game, especially here, mm-hmm. we have to listen to those type of um, critics. Yeah. You understand me? And 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 be willing to improve from the feedbacks what you know what we get yeah what you get and grow from it and grow from it you understand because um because as i was saying i personally um as an artist then i have work among people where i try to give my input then mm. and say boy i feel say you should have do this and this and try to step up the thing and try to step up the thing but in reality, when you're fine, I know everybody like you said up to them. Mm. You understand me? So, we know as artists who want to progress, know then, off a start, look on the type of material where we have a sing from. And you start off a the best, best. <laughs> better best, yeah. not so best. Yeah. If you understand what I'm saying. Because when you first are coming at the game, at first that doesn't seem important. Mm. It's like you just want to sing and sometimes you're not check. You know, like the, like what we are talking about, the quality mm. uh, uh, of the work, like 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 the beat where I back you then. Yeah. But as you go on in the game, you start to look on that and compare to where you see I come from other parts of the world. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. And you know if we keep it real, a lot of time I believe why you can get the knock is because them don't spend the time to make that production be up there. Mm. Back in the days it was. Yeah. You understand me? Back in the 70s and things like that and down to a certain part of the 80s, it was good quality work. Like when Winston them the dim the light and brown sugar and them what changed? artists artists there. Eh? What changed? I think what changed it is when anyone could be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you understand what yeah. I'm saying. That's what yeah. changed it. You understand because that that's what was the roots and you had to go to the right place to get the, the right sounds and the you know the way or the quality and everything was supposed to be mm. but then when anybody could do it yeah. then anybody was doing it it was no standard <laughs> you understand me and along the journey some is like some people start to accept work what is not quality work you understand me and then it became normal you understand me yeah because i i i, I was talking to an artist the other day and he said andrew we notice any time i send me tune them it, them no play it. And I tell them the truth. I say, yes, listen, brother, you have to select certain DJs because some have a problem with a top production because mm. they, they're used to their tin song. Mm. You yeah, understand me? Yeah. And because they're used to that, yeah. sometimes when you send them like a thing, them not really gravitate to that. Okay. It have a sound a certain way. To them. You yeah. understand me? Yeah. So that's why I call myself the singer man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I know why you say me, me I can't do the one thing. Because yeah. I know I'm not true. I just sing a song. You meet and I sing it my way. <laughs> you understand yeah. me? A couple yeah. of artists and I'm a band like Sydney Prince, Chucky Banton, CC Faster, Candy Silk, mm. uh, Dad Spran. You know, you have, you have um, Urkel the Dancer. Mm. You know what I mean? Eh? Yeah, clocks. Mm. You know what I mean? My brain, I get younger, so sometimes <laughs> I have to think about it. So, you know? But, yeah. Um, yeah, and you know, we put on a few shining stars show down at the water and him. Okay. And each time, pop out. Good? Yeah, people then love it, you know. So, what's next? What's coming up? Well, what's coming up for Shining Stars now, as I said, I was at um, Bobby's studio today 
one of my story, one rhythm for the bubblers with, with, with the rhythm called the Calabash rhythm. Yeah. And my voice a tune on it called Black Man. Mm. You understand? Me? Yeah. You know, it's simply a song. I say, when will the black man be free? Yeah. You understand? Me? But I know when the people them hear it, especially as black people, mm. it's a heartfelt thing. Yeah. And, you know, we're supposed to lift up and rise up in ourselves. But God, the truth is, the freedom starts with we. Oh. <laughs> you understand? Me? Everybody can march side away, you know. But the actual freedom starts with we. Mm. When we start for love with one another and, and unite mm. amongst one another. You understand what I agree. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And my heart so vice the, the rhythm of what I call the ones, you know, the once upon a time song. So we we'll just call the rhythm the once upon a time rhythm. Okay. I'm a vice that today and me in the process of selecting about six to seven other artists. To join me. For giant planet. So that I want for this now. For okay. also, and in another week. I wish there was it. I wish there since Wednesday. Wednesday my vice a a a a tune for Star Vibes, which are the murder degree with him, I believe. Okay. And the trap for that one. The trap for that one is called Rise Up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What was your first single? No, it's not. I forgot about it. Yeah, my first single was a, a, a song called Superstar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what was the little instruments behind it? Why? It was it was more like a like a, like a dance thing. Like me, I said, me a superstar. Okay. Like okay. Yeah. Like me, I said, oh, oh, me, I said nothing. I said. Baby, don't you know? Say me full up a style, can't you see? Girls, the rhythm that my show, no money can't buy, girl. Yeah. Yes, I hold the microphone on the style of fashion, can't you see? You know them kind of vibe. Yeah. 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 So that was the first single, and it was for me and my brethren we label. Okay. Which we, we call smooth records. I right? say, so Andrea sings smooth, so I'll call it. Oh, man. Right? Yeah. So I'll call it smooth records. Right? <laughs> and so we we'll go with the thing. <laughs> yeah. What was your first LP? No, you know, something I sing for long before, before me do an album, you know. And the first album I do was with um, Gary, Gary Digitech. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know, but I feel through me the kind of tech break in between the, the journey. Yeah. Yeah, although I did that whole heap of, cause whole heap of song I have over the years, you know, just, oh, sometimes I just find CD or find things, but I say, no, I never remember about them song. Yeah. Kind of thing, you know. But, yeah, yeah but over the years, because you talk about all that stuff. 30 something years of um, recording. Of so, journey. Yeah, so I still have a whole heap of material where, where people never really hear. Mm. You know? And my brethren, we and them there are Jamaica still, but after all these years, to him watch me in kind of say, boy, and you know, you kind of inspire me. Yeah, him right. start. Yeah, him start. Him start. Yeah, him start the back day. Yeah. Him start to back the music and in that yard now still a, a vice of some artists and things mm. like that and me and them have start come back in. So you know the journey blend but you know when you when you when you, you keep pushing and fighting still you, you find say in the journey you get some people where start to admire your determination. Mm. Like, yeah. yeah, you find say you are inspire people are you doing you know? Yeah. If you understand what I say, yeah, because sometimes meet some people and them say, boy and you yo, I respect you, you know. <laughs> Can remember for you my days you say I sing you want to sing. And if you say I'll thirty something years later, you're still <laughs> yeah. and it really <laughs> mean it come with that. 
we try to bring it with quality mm. and a standard open set others will notice it and say yeah you know because it's a it's a unified thing we want to do you know mm -hmm. you understand because to me music is not about one person no. you understand sadly many in the game Don't making know. it feel like it's about just them mm -hmm. but in reality music is not like that that's why thing named ban and all that yeah. You know, a man could go around and everyone does a play, but it can't sweet and then if six or seven people join it with different instruments and a play. Yeah. And vocally and everything is the same thing. Yeah. You understand what I say? Because in reality, none of we need for bad mind with one another. There is no need for it. Because you can never be better than the ability Father God has given unto you. Mm. Father God has given to each one of us what we can manage. Yeah. You understand me? So him, him give me my ability, him give you your ability, him give our next one the ability. Yeah. Our job is to work it to the best of our ability. Yeah. You understand me? So yeah. me work my thing, you work your thing, I will come together in you so I make a joy for nice. Yeah. <laughs> It's but true. some people want to make nice by themselves. Yeah. <laughs> you understand me? Yeah. So when you yeah. when you reach out to some people, then sometimes you say, Boy, you know, me and you, me feel me and you could have make a good song together, you know. Mm. Sometimes people make pride and them longevity in the thing make them pompous. Yeah. So them say, well, I'm just the only one I'm with. I, I, I dry more and dry my fame. No, I don't want to dry your fame. Mm. I want to enhance it. Yeah. <laughs> you understand me? And just because you can't surpass yourself. Yeah. You understand me? But sometimes you can bring two elements together and make it magic. Yeah, it's true. And sometimes people don't see that because they're an island of themselves. Holding on to everything. Yeah, they're an the island of themselves. Mm -hmm. But full reflex is not like that. Mm. You understand me? It's for make a movement where the whole are with them rise up together. Mm. Kind of truth. The whole are with. God never make none of them start. No. The whole are with a shining star. Yeah, you understand me? I say, yeah. yeah. I just grieve for what we say. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Who or what inspired you to write? Well, my writing, I would say, I would say, I, I wouldn't. My writing just come out of how I feel, innit? You understand me? But in the early days, I would have sing a, a, a lot more like, 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 when I said me I sing to the woman. Yeah, yeah. you understand me? I sing, yeah, because, yeah. You understand what I say, yeah. But, my fine, my fine as I'm going on the journey now, my kind of, Turn it and I start look for more, like more deeper than. Yeah. So, I last our last year like the Stevie P, like the Stevie P, I chose called winner. Mm. I was born a winner. Yeah. You yeah, understand me? And then I come back and I'm 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 a lick for Gary. I chose called they don't like it. Okay. So but basically I sing about them I like for silver shine. Give us a bit of that one <laughs> then. They don't like it when they see a shining bright. Oh what a shame. Yeah. They don't know our struggles and how we toiled all night. And they never felt our pains. Yeah. All they see is the glitter and the rings. Them a glimmer, but not that half that has never been told. They don't like it, oh no, oh yes, that's why them are fighting. Wow, thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I understand me. And then, I come back again, um, I read them um, for Bobby that's called the Double Edge. Hmm. Read them, and I give them Africa. Okay. You know, uh, Africa, go on good. You know what I mean? Double eh? Double rock, yeah, double rock with it. Them know where I get you. <laughs> yes. And it said, 
Africa is calling. Mama Africa is calling. Mama Africa is calling her children home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And that's how we want like. Yeah. I understand the mass, yeah. And I'm gonna give them, as I said, I'm give them Africa. And as I said, but the day of Jamaica, I did the video mm. for Africa and come back here. We're kind of done in a match. We did it, but not in a full force. Yes. Yeah. Things like Restricted. Yeah, things like that. You understand me? Yeah. Advice, as I yeah. said, the Calabash with him. For Bobby, that's New Edge. Yeah man, and the track and tiger panda is black man. Okay. So it's supposed to push out any time, any time so no, because you have other you have other artists on it like Donovan King J and Kitty Corbin mm. and I think two more cut. Okay. They're on it and may have come join it with them now with black man. Okay. They understand me and then you have the once upon a time with him, which will be a shining stars. Okay. Production so that will be the launching of Shining Stars Records. Okay. So you have Shining Stars Entertainment, yeah. and now we are with them Shining Stars Records. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. So, uh, this one, yeah. <laughs> Why is music important to you? Why? It's important to me. My feel say they keep up on a street like a straight and narrow and it's always a place for me to come back to to let out my expression and my feelings and many times I kind of thank that feel because there's many times in my life when I find myself upon a lower moment and I eat just a sing to myself to uplift myself and that kind of saves me and I say to myself say, Sometimes, I don't know what courses I could have taken in my life if I never have that. Because mm. even as a youth, sometimes when you, you, you look like you go astray, but I always used to say to myself, say, Yo, you can't do this. You know, it kind of, yeah, steer me upon a little thing. Because it's a dream for me, like when I carry it, it's a dream when I carry with me in my self. Yeah. Yeah, so. I kind of comfort me many times. Yeah. And I can like, not care where I go on and not care about the toughness or thing, mm. but somehow, I can see myself not nah, sick. Yeah. So I know I'm going to sing. Yeah. That's one of my brethren say, keep yourself quiet, Andrew. You always have a sing to that brethren. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do you believe in the most high? Well, that's why I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> And if so, how does it affect your work? Or oh, it affect your work, your singing, your your. Well, I I looked up for keep going, mm. so it was a big part of my singing. Mm. Yeah, because first the main knowledge is that him give me the talent. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Me. So, you know everything I do, you know me 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 ask for that guidance then. If me even I like him, no, we know we're going to have that interview with him. I pray for him one day, I said this interview will go well. Yeah. They understand yeah. me, and that something inspiring mm. will come out from me. Mm. But when somebody else watch it, them can say, boy, yeah, man, I feel. Okay. Where am I say, because, you know, life is a funny thing where when you have got through your journey, you can get that delusion like a hungry you are. <laughs> But the truth is, millions and millions of people have had the same journey like you. No, some yeah, worse. Some worse. Mm -hmm. And sometimes all it needs is somebody in the wilderness just for shout out and say, Yo, my brother, it's sticky. I don't want to make it sticky. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You understand me? I say, Yeah. Because sometimes you're yeah, all on, you know, feel like the leg up. Yeah. Yeah. But if you hear a voice, there is hopes. You can walk and not mind, isn't it? It's true. You understand me. So, you know, in every step of the way, like, the music then bring many things. It, 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 it makes me meet some people who wouldn't meet if I did music. You understand me? People who inspire we, are we. In a walk of life, mm -hmm. you can meet some people where then 
have a vision like you. Mm. You understand me? Like, like for the betterment. Yeah. You know, and it's nice when you meet people, it no matter like on yourself, fire red. You know, and I wouldn't be here from the never want to see the upliftment of the music thing. Oh. We are one within the England here. Yeah. Yeah. You understand me? So, yeah, man. So, when you, when you find yourself amongst people where them in the thing with a love, where them just want to see the upliftment of everybody. Yeah, it's a beautiful and wonderful thing. Yeah. Uh, we need to embrace that and encourage those, those things. I agree. Uh, more. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell the Farid family where your music has taken you? Hmm. Well, for UK side, we go all to one all the places. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah man, so the, the um, giants are lovers, right? Grace food, you know, countless times down the out and on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what I say, yeah. I will try to keep it like that and uh, 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 move around the place, you know. Mm. What collaborations have you done? Uh, what I do? I, 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 I do? I do collab with Winston Reed, eh? mm. um, Frederick Tibbs. Yeah. Um, Father Dan, see his son, me, and then his Peters. Yeah. yeah, I feel okay. Yeah, I'll win some, win some, man. Okay. I'm a brother, Glenn Sloan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah from all people. <laughs> yeah. What artists do you listen to? Well, the bro, I'm my singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of them guys are still my singer. Pound for pound, I'm my singer. Um, what about your own Me listen to everything. Cause there's something in that everything mm. for everything. You understand me? Right now, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I have a set singer when I listen at them time. Yeah. Mm. Cause, you know, yeah, some flavors and things you know, but I still, me still believe that so the, 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 the old school style of singing are still the greatest. Yeah. Because you did African do the thing. You know, some might know what gimmicks and things like that. But <laughs> them time the chicks. Yeah, singing are really singing. So we still in love with the the the, the world. Yeah. The school we are singing a lot. Yeah, I'm kinda of even but no so the people that feel that that way they can't love time when we come off a stage themselves so and you know, sing just like where the ingredients are very real. real, real. Yeah. But no one feel it that way. Got you. <laughs> Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's so, I still the flavor for me, but I still listen to everything. You yeah, understand? Because in that everything, you can hear something mm. and craft it yeah. um, to your thing. So even though we may in the news, well, me, me I talk for me still, because I can't know it for everybody. But even though I sing for a long time, me still try to develop. And come with with, with, with something then. different. You yeah, understand me? And like musically for me, me not really have a set pattern. You yeah, understand me? So every time I sing a song, it's a song. Mm. It's not gonna be structured the same way. Yeah. If you yeah. understand what I say, yeah, you yeah. know, cause you have some works out there where it, the, the structure is just the same all the time. Maybe just different words, mm. but the thing structure and stop the same. Yeah. No, I'm not doing my music like that. I'm yeah. not want none of my music to sound like the you next one. You do it how it comes. Yeah, to. so they have an individual mm. within of themselves. Yeah. So when I have no, like it's money here, they say, oh yeah, I don't have your farm. I'm like, stop, stop, stop. Mm. Like this. No, you know, I'm not going to get my like that. Because yeah. every song will come, come unique within yeah. itself. Yeah. Yeah, I understand what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been surprised by the response by the UK music supporters? Yeah, yeah, in our sense. In our sense. Because even over there when we 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 do the, the grounding and dubs at the wind rush. Mm. And I mean and those who follow my page for say my, 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 my put up my post with me and I wiped the other. Mm. And she been following 
fuss on my ears now. Mm. Yeah, and then the Jackie Brim. Jackie Brim, if you are watching, let's have this help, beautiful lady. Yeah. yeah and um, yeah, it was touching to me, you know, mm. that I, I see her there and she said, oh, Andrea, I heard that you was going to be here. Mm. And I came here just to see your life. Oh. You know? And she said, yeah, I should take a photo with me. And I said, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> I would take the photo and I said to myself, say, yeah, you know, we have to know and say, Music, no, 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 no prejudice to nobody. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you understand me, man? Say, yeah, music, no prejudice to nobody. Yeah. You understand me? Because she had followed me for some time and she, and she, she, she get me news, say, me I go there, so she can reach there, she make her way and reach there. Yeah. And she don't come from my background. Yeah. She don't come from my culture. Yeah. You understand me, man? Say, yeah. so music, no prejudice to nobody. No. You understand? Definitely yeah. not. How can the Firewood listeners keep in contact with you? Well, contact with me on Facebook page. Uh, them can link Shining Stars Entertainment. Okay, so on yeah. Facebook it would be Shining Stars? Yeah, yeah you can go to Alice and Mason. I said straight. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other platforms? Um, well, I'm not on Twitter. But I'm not really going to find it. To be honest, I have all of the, 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 the yeah, Instagram yeah. and everything. But I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to go find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? Keep it real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please feel free to make a shout out to your real well wishes, the rest of your well wishes. Yeah, well, me, me just want, you know, me, me not going to call everybody's name because if I if miss out some names, the mother said, why well, did you call my one? You know, yeah. so I, I'm just going to say, you know, bless up everybody where we where show and just do all the love still. And, you know, appreciate the words because I've always said that, you know, if people get support, it develops them more. Yeah. Yeah, you get to grow more yeah. if you get support, mm. um, you know, within the craft, within the said to the DJ and say just like oh they must have other tunes while them sit down in our DJs mm -hmm. and may I always try for second people say just like somebody that give you a chance to live your thing mm -hmm. somebody has a chance to live their thing yeah. you understand because um, they must remember say that most of the artists them are independent artists they are not under any big companies or anything like that. Mm. And the truth is without support, they will never be under big companies. Yeah. You understand? Because um, yeah, you know, people have to know that you exist. Mm. <laughs> and if people don't know you exist, then it's like you're not there. Yeah. You, know? you understand me? And that's what happened like many times. The talent them is here, but them go unnoticed for years and years and years. Because there's no support. Because there's no support. Yeah. You understand me? I have to tell you the truth. Is that really drive me in the thing? Mm. In the sense where I said to myself, say, mother like to see a time come when it change and it's not like that. Yeah. You understand me? Where um, the younger youth them can be coming up and feel inspired and say, you know what, I wouldn't mind being a part of keeping reggae music alive. Yeah. You understand what I say because the less support it get, or the more it have a dead mm. You understand me? And we need, we need like the younger youth then to look to the thing and feel like a song for going. Right. Instead of look at the avenues. Yeah, not not really looking at, at more in different avenues. Mm. But make we keep the thing we come from we then yeah. alive. Yeah. You understand me? And that can only really happen with support mm. within the game. Mm. We're not for fight with one another. Mm. No. And a fight against one another and our thing. And then we expect others outside of our, ourselves to treat us good. Yeah. When we not treat ourselves good. I agree. Yeah, not not us all. You yeah, understand me? They, they, they must see we are treating ourselves good. Yeah. You yeah, understand me? They're they role models. Yeah. 
If you understand, so that how really we give we the drive still. But as I said, Shining Stars is there, and then on the must know about the Shining Stars show. We used to do the radio show, yeah. and a whole heap of people get a drive out of that time. You know, they look to it. And I wonder, boy, I wonder who I listen to my interview next. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it comes in like a little thing where people are set for. Yeah. You see, who are who are, you know. Isn't you know, it? say, me will pop up on a Saturday morning and start boosting it up and say, yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I see what you're like. I'm going. You know what I mean? And from there, so now, um, the show, I've got moved to Sky TV. Okay. So I think it was week before last. May Alison coming at the studio and did a promo mm. um, to it. So it got bigger and brighter. Yeah. You understand? Because it have got cover like uh, more scope. So it will cover like same artists and thing and, and the journey and the artists. But we will also be talking about achievers yeah. within our community. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So it, it, that's why I say it all starts with us. Mm. Because outside of ourselves, they may be more prone to show negative news about us. Mm. But what have we got to say about ourselves? Yeah, yeah I understand. So are we you now amongst ourselves have to start highlight some positive things that is going on mm. within our community. Mm. And don't let the world believe say all the negativity can come out from we yeah. because it's not true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. Yeah. If I follow my heart, I'm not gonna love you. Fire it, fire it. Oh, yes. And if I follow my tears, my tears, I'm still gonna love you. Fire it, fire it, fire it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if I fall on my eyes, yeah, and it's crying time, I won't be crying, no, 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 no,